This week, we take a Sunday off to head into Phillipsburg. As we are waiting for the bus, this guy surprises us by offering us a lift into town. Yo, Maggie, little boy, this man going all around you. Tell him I pull over. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about signs and rules oh, The payment and the long, long road yeah. And you're always in such a rush mm, With your life playing from the stereo On Monday, we head over to our favorite shop on the island to buy yet more supplies. You definitely know that you are spending too much time here when all the staff refer to you on a first name basis. Back here again, so come before it's too late. This week, with all the major installations done, we are eager to leave and start exploring other islands in the Caribbean. However, there are still a few things we need to get done before we leave, and we decide to take advantage of the Calm Lagoon to do so. One of our top priorities is getting hold of some new or used solar panels. So what are we on the hunt for right now, love? Solar panels. Solar panels. <laughs> we need solar. We have new batteries, ASAP. and we can't, we're tired of running the engine every time we run the engine. <laughs> oh, you can't put yeah. So we're we're checking them out. Island Water World, or I mean, we love those guys, but it's uh, a little bit expensive for the ones we want. But there's a guy in Anguilla that can give it to us for half price, but it's kind of a back thing to try and get there. It's a half day's motor, so. Well, now we can sail, but we don't know how to sail. We don't know how to sail, so we could try and sail, but. So right now we're gonna go check out a few other shops. We're gonna check out Electric, see what they got. And, uh, budget's just too expensive. We're practicing um, splicing this rope instead of having the one snubber go round. Um, we want to have the chain sit in that, and then have two loops of that with the bigger line for these ones here. Um, come off on each end. So. That's what we're trying to do. So the guy at the shop kind of told me how to do 
fingers in there. And then right at the end, I've got the other two I've made, but bigger because they've got to go through the cleats. So that's the two there, and I've got to cut these and burn them. And take these bits off. That was just my guide. Snubber off. Oh, the new loop going through. It's perfect. Tight <laughs> and so new compared to this snubber here. <laughs> Simple answer to that was a no. So what Nat doesn't know is I've just scored us uh, a new tender. Well, a used tender because our ridiculous one that is too big for us and leaks so much water. Like we are bailing that thing out all day, every day. Um, and it's going to be a ridiculous amount of fiberglass repair works. Um, so I found a guy. This guy just bought a brand new tender and he's got an older AB, 10 foot with an aluminum bottom, which is what we really, really wanted. And um, thank you, Peter, you're a legend. Um, and I've scored it for a hundred bucks, which anybody who knows tenders is an absolute steal. It leaks a tiny little bit of air, but it's watertight. Um, but I've got a patch kit so I can find the hole and fix it. So I'm, I'd rather be pumping air than having wet foot every single day. So I'm about to tell Nat. So I just heard Jamesy come back. And look what he's got. What's this, James? This is my $100 tender. What do you call this, love? It's called some boat. Oh, oh we just, we look at yellow. This. Yellow. Boring gray. Hey. Yellow. Bucks, and it's got aluminum bottom. Boring gray. Couldn't be happy. It's got a couple of slow leaks, but doesn't have a patch. Have you got wet foot? Nope. No wet foot. It's dry, it's aluminum bottom, just needs a bit of a spray, and I just gotta find a couple of leaks. Find leaks. <laughs> this is a sad, sad day for me. Yellow. He's been so yeah, hard. Trying to pump when you're bouncing around like this. Oh, they're about the same size when they're next to each other. Nah. Gray's a bit smaller. We just said goodbye to yellow. He's now part of that family over there. There he is, next to two other tenders. And he's going to a really lovely Brazilian family. So, and it's super fitting because now they've got a green and a yellow tender. I'm gonna miss you, yellow tender. I will. I'm gonna miss you. The lovely Brazilian family that buys old yellow invites us around and gives us a tour of their beautiful boat. So I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up, but this is the first evening we haven't had 15, 20 knots of wind, and it's absolutely stunning. Look at that. Glass. So why you bother? This is nothing you can run from. About to enjoy some lentejas, um, which is like a lentil soup with chorizo, um, very Spanish, and we normally have it on a Monday. Mm. Lentejas lunes, lentil Monday. <laughs> it's really good, especially when Nat makes it. Is it Monday today though? No. It's Friday. Wrong day. 
should be having fish on a Friday, fish Friday. The reason we're having it on a Friday is this is all we have left in the fridge, isn't it? So we need to go shopping big time, but we've been holding off because we don't have any solar at the moment. And we're trying to conserve our batteries so we don't have our fridge on, which means we're keeping nothing cold. That's right. So, but solar tomorrow, so big day, which means a cold fridge. Go for a quick swim before heading to the French side to get some groceries. Just off to my favorite shop, Super U. Although I used to call it U Super. And I call it Supermarché, which I know means supermarket. But it's so good, it's on the French side and it's all Spanish and French food. We get invited to this family's home where not only did they let us use their internet to upload videos, but they took us in like we were family and fed us like kings. Ani, ¿qué cocinaste? ¿Qué cocinaste? Arepitas. <laughs> Esto es reina pepiada, aguacate, pollo y guisantes y piscandina, sopa de huevo. Wow, qué rico. Bueno, aquí están con nuestros amigos que esperamos que les guste y bueno, y que nos recuerden siempre y que podamos volver a ver en el futuro también. Saludan, saludan. Le llaman B. As we start to make our preparations for departing the lagoon, we decide to do a little more exploring around the island before we say our final goodbyes. There is a life I lead in this city. Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by it Doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart will show Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Take you back to my youth And show you what I wish I knew My will is strong with a place to lean In the moment I hung best belief The other ring of my wrist is gold So this week um, was a pretty special week because we ended up getting a lot more stuff done than we thought we were going to get done but we didn't manage to capture it on camera there was two things that we got done. <laughs> One, we got solar panels, and two, we got the sails um, put in, but we didn't end up doing that. So one of the things we thought we'd do is we'd run through the installation of the sails and <clears throat> talk about the solar installation as well. Yeah, so there's a, there's a good reason why we didn't actually put the sails up ourselves, and um, we had every intention to do it um, because it would cost us money to get somebody else to install them. Um, and we wanted to know how to put them up and take them down ourselves uh, for whatever reason. Um, but in the end, because we earned, ended up going with an infurling main, we ordered a new main uh, from Beneteau as well, a Neil Pride sale. And we went with the FKG guys to install the new main sail and the head sail in the end just because they could do it in five seconds. And our reasoning behind that in the end was we would have somebody 
a professional actually show us how to do it right the first time um, instead of us trying to make a mess of it um, and secondly the actual initial installation of the main into the inferling system um, is a little bit intricate so you know taking it up and taking it down is fine but the actual attaching of all the shackles and um, and so forth is a, it can be a little bit complicated and we wanted to know how to do it right the first time um, so we thought it was a good investment to have these guys uh, show us the way through the first time round, and it went really well um, so that was the reason why we had them do it um, but as a result uh, we neglected to capture it on camera. Moving on guys the next thing was the solar so we might have mentioned earlier in the video that um, with our new batteries we needed solar ASAP because uh, we're still having to run the engine to charge the batteries and that's not our goal. We have been searching uh, for solar panels. We've been looking at all the major chandleries um, and they're all kind of expensive. We knew the size we wanted. The boat previously had solar on it before. Um, so we were fortunate that we didn't need to buy charge controllers or any of that equipment or run any of the cabling. It had already actually been done by the previous owner. The older solar panels had actually just been destroyed in the hurricane. So um, I think the previous panels were 200 watts each and we wanted to get 250 watts each because our arch actually has enough space for panels that size. So we figured we might as well go bigger. Um, in the end we actually got in contact through a Facebook group here in St. Martin um, and with a guy in Anguilla. Uh, he actually sells solar panels for home installations and boats. and we got an incredible deal. Um, if anybody that has looked into solar for boats knows, um, we got them for 60 cents a watt, uh, which is pretty darn incredible. Very good. So if you do your research, you'll realize that 60 cents a watt is great. Um, they are uh, poly, they're not mono. Um, we, you know, we looked into poly and mono and, you know, the, there are arguments for both. Uh, I think the differences are minimal at this point, um, and certainly the cost savings were, you know, massive. Massive. So uh, we're happy to go with the polys at this point. Now, um, as Nat said earlier, the reason we didn't capture it on camera is because we got back really late from picking the panels up. Um, we had to motor over to the French side in our dinghy. We didn't actually end up going to <clears throat> Anguilla because he ended up coming to the bay. He ended up coming to the French side. Thankfully, we hadn't actually bought solar panels by that point, so we decided to go and check them out, and we ended up getting them. And by the time we got back from the French side, um, it was too late, um, but we still wanted to get them installed before the morning, so. And we didn't get anything on camera, did we? No, no, I did the... James's amazing installation, and we didn't even get it on camera. Yeah. It was pretty epic as well. Well, the problem we had, um, and something I don't think we've talked about at any point in any of our videos about our boat works, is when our boat was knocked over in the hurricane, um, it actually fell on the stern arch. So we have a very robust stern arch on the back of the boat. And when it slowly went over, it actually landed on the next boat on the stern arch, so the boat never actually touched ground. Now our stern arch was bent as a result, as you can imagine. So it's been semi-straightened. We weren't after perfect. We were just after something that was respectable um, and wouldn't interfere with our rigging, which it doesn't. Um, but it meant that I had to come up with some pretty creative brackets to hold the solar panels, uh, which I did. Um, FYI, never grind steel bolts on a fiberglass boat. That so was bad I, news. That's been a lot of cleaning. Uh, all the little metal flakes basically dig into the gel coat and they rust and next thing you know you have to scrub and scrub. So I basically in the night installed all the solar panels um, and because I said it was all sort of uh, plumbed in before, uh, I just had to wire them back up. They're actually working incredibly well. Alright guys, so this is our TriStar remote meter. Um, it's obviously tied in with our two uh, controllers. So we actually have two 45 controllers. Um, in theory, we could probably run both our panels off of one, but we have two. 
Um, as I said, we got 500 watts on the back. Right now, I mean, it's pretty early in the morning, so we're not full blast in the sun, but we're still getting 430 watts out of the panels and 32 amps going into the batteries. So I seen it the other day when we were actually in full sun. We had just, uh, just under 40 amps going into the batteries and just over 520 watts from two 250 watt panels. So um, needless to say, they're performing perfect. So, um, and our 420 amp hour batteries, um, we operate down to 60% and we can recharge that 40% in about three hours. So. <laughs> okay, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Thank you to all our patrons, all the new patrons. Thank you for supporting us. It really does mean the world to us, especially um, as we're only just learning and we know that the videos aren't the best quality. Um, hopefully they get better and better though. And our saving skills are getting better. I think they're getting better. <laughs> we can only get better, we can't get worse. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please click that subscribe button. It helps us out more than you know. Woo! Next week, we sail for the first time ever on Zephyr to the French side of St. Martin. So, something absolutely amazing has happened. We are sailing. We also do our biggest sail yet, heading back to the British Virgin Islands.